Hey everybody, getting the camera bag packed up because Pat and I are going guitar safari today. We're heading down to the Artisan Guitar Show in Harrisburg, PA to check out a bunch of luthiers and some pretty sweet acoustic guitars. So why don't you come along? <laughs> We're at the Artisan Guitar Show. We stopped in at Tellier Guitars. We're gonna write, oh, we're gonna hit Fred, the proprietor, the builder. And the first thing I picked up was this magical little parlor guitar. And Fred's agreed to tell us about how he got started. And you're pointing at the guitar, right? About how he got started in the guitar making about process. The guitar is not us. Yeah, that's true. This is, this is much prettier than me, I assure you. Me what was too. the back of that called? It's pudding. Uh, plum pudding mahogany, plum pudding finger. So, how did you get started? I retired from my real job, and I always wanted a real nice guitar, and I couldn't justify spending money on a part. So, a friend said, why don't you build one? And now, I'm at number 45. And how many years? Uh, since 2006. So, about years. So, you have a shop at home? At home. You've built that up over time, improving yeah, I keep the buying tools, and bigger, bigger machines. Yeah. So how do you learn that art? I mean, you want to build a guitar because you want to save money. At the end of the day, you the, probably haven't saved money. The, but. the University of Internet and YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. There's a YouTube video for everything. Right. Right. Uh, you know, probably nine out of ten people who post stuff are wrong. That's why we want to come right but to the get, source. But you get to find the people. Yeah. You know, pretty sure. soon you figure out who really knows what yeah. they're talking about. And you talk to anybody in here, right? And they'll share stuff. That's you know, the one thing we've heard so far, that this is competition but a close community. Yeah, yeah. That's what we've heard so far. Today. Yeah, if you, you know, if you walk over, like talk to Sam over there and say, how'd you do that? Because, I mean, I would say, hey, Sam showed me. Right. right. So, why not? Like, why, you know, there's no secret. Right. Yeah, I'm sure it's about your reputation, your relationships, your name's on the guitar, and so you build a relationship. Because I've heard you guys maybe buy the wood from some of the same people. And... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's, there's a group of people who cut nice wood. Right. And, yeah. So I'm not very good at math. You said 45 since 2006. Yep. I can't do that math. How many guitars a year, roughly? Uh, right now, four or five. Okay. And are they all? If I have the orders, okay. uh, I might do five. If I don't, I might only do three or four. It works out around five years. So how would someone order one? Talk to me. Yeah. Talk about. I mean, there's some unique things to this guitar that someone might, might not even know to ask yeah, for. Yeah. Yeah. We well. Uh, it's a relationship. Yeah. Usually, many emails, and some phone calls, right. and, you know, uh, get a little bit of money up front to start the bill, sure. and then uh, we work out a payment schedule or whatever. It's about six months. Like, if I when I got home Tuesday, if I started a guitar for you, I'd say six around six months. Do you hear that, honey? Six months, he can build a guitar for me. <laughs> uh, it might be five, it might be seven. You know, depending on, you know, if I've got a whole bunch of stuff on the bench, it takes us a lot. What's, uh, I'm sure they're all like children, but what's like the one you built where you're like, that's the yeah. one? There's one in my city, which is Brazil, uh, Windsor, Ontario. Okay. It's a Brazilian Rosewood OM body that I see somewhat regularly, and that's what I miss, yeah. because I keep seeing it. The others, you know, Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, yeah, you sort of forget about them, but that one I see, you know, maybe once a month or so. Wow. So it reminds me that it should be in my house. <laughs> is, the, is, that, is, the, is the owner aware of this, that they oh, yeah. can oh, yeah. sell it back to the maker for a profit? Uh, no, he's a physician. Okay. He doesn't need to sell it. Right, right, right. He needs to buy more. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. You tell him you really like that one. Have I got something for you? Yeah, yeah exactly. So it was great to meet you. It was great to play this. Yeah. I'm going to play a couple more, although this one set the bar really high. So, Bless Fred, you, nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Why don't you sit down and play it too? Yeah. It's like playing against the wall.
That's great because I tend to I have D35, so I like big, boomy, open. But this is really comfortable. This makes a huge difference that you feel it and you can.